going to be my travel bag essentials. I've been traveling a lot lately and I know it's kind of spring break season so maybe a lot of you guys are traveling too or if you're a first time traveler I hope this video helps you guys out. Basically all it is is just a what's in my bag video just kind of a themed version so it's a what's in my travel bag as in the bag that I carry with me um, and that I put in the seat in front of me in the airplane, the stuff that I use throughout the flight. It's not my carry-on suitcase. If you guys want a video on how I pack my carry-on suitcase, I can totally do that for you. This is just the bag of necessities that I like to bring with me, whether it's a super long international flight. I tend to bring a little bit more on those. Or if it's just like a regular flight, I fly a lot to either New York or LA and those are both each about two and a half, three hours for me. So it's stuff that I like to carry with me. So I figured it would be helpful for you guys. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Starting off with the bag that I use, they vary, but most of the time I'm using this one. It's a long shot bag. I really like it. It's super durable. It's not too big, so I can still use a carry-on suitcase, but it holds everything I need. Okay, so the first thing that I like to keep in there is, I guess what I call my in-flight potential essentials. So it's stuff that I might not use, but I might need, so it's kind of important for me to carry. This bag that I'm using is from Target. It came in a set of three, and what I like about this one, it's clear, so you can see exactly what you're grabbing out. The first thing I like to keep in there are either makeup wipes or these by Olay Fresh Effects. It is the Clear Skin Sea Spot Swipe Oil Reducing Wet Cloths. My skin and airplanes don't mix whatsoever. The pressurized air that's running through the cabin really dries out your skin, in turn making your skin produce oil to kind of balance it out, therefore causing me to break out. So these just kind of help wipe away dirt oil and dead skin cells that can clog your pores, so I definitely think they help. This next item I will only bring and potentially use on super long international flights. Basically they're just D-Puff iPads. It's kind of a luxury thing. I think that they definitely do help, but they mainly just feel really, really good. So it's awesome when you just wake up on a plane after a long flight and you're kind of laying there and you don't mind looking really silly to everyone else in the plane. They just feel really good and relaxing. Next up, I like to carry a small thing of deodorant. Sometimes airplanes can leave you feeling super gross, so it's nice to have that just in case you want to freshen up. Another thing are tissues. One time I didn't have tissues on a plane and it was miserable, so I always bring them now. Another thing are bobby pins and hair ties. You may never need these, but they're kind of a just-in-case item because you'd be super annoyed if you needed them and didn't have them. The next thing I put in there is some lip balm. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then a toothbrush. You never know if you're going to need that. And then also I put in Q-tips Q and cotton pads. I don't know if you ever use them. Um, but you never know. So I keep those in there as well. And then of course you can't forget the girly products um, because you don't want to not be prepared on an airplane. So now that is filled with everything that I want in there. So that's going into my travel bag. And the next bag I am packing is my quote unquote liquids bag, meaning the bag that comes out at security filled with all of my liquids. Now these have to be TSA regulated, a lot of stores are coming out with their own TSA regulated plastic bags, like this one that I got free with purchase at Sephora. One of the rules is that your liquids have to be under 4 ounces, so lucky for us, places like Target and Walmart make little plastic bottles that you can transfer all of your beauty products into. So like here I have a shampoo, conditioner, face wash, and eye cream. If you go into Ulta or Sephora, sometimes they have products that are already sized down to the exact travel size that you need, like this rose water spray, my foundation, hand cream, toothpaste, and of course my Travelo for my perfume. So as long as all of your liquids fit into a TSA regulated plastic bag, you are good to go. You can also use a regular Ziploc bag that is this size, but just a tip for you, most of the time they come free with purchase if you buy the clear plastic bottles or beauty products that are sized down. 
The next thing I put in my travel bag is my regular everyday purse and what I keep in there is mascara because that's a necessary beauty item for me. Some concealer for when I get off the flight or when the flight is over and I need to touch up. Two lip products, my two favorite and go-to's which is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Lip Liner and Max Hue Lipstick. Another thing is a pocket size mirror just in case or if I need to apply my makeup if I'm getting off the plane and going somewhere that I have to be ready for. Another thing of course is gum and or mints. Most of the time I keep both because I like to eat mints. I'm weird but I like them a lot. <laughs> and then also of course the little wallet thing that I got from Target. It just holds all of my cards, IDs, and I will also most likely put my boarding pass in here. Next up are electronics. Starting with my vlogging camera, I'm taking that and putting it into a case that I purchased at Target. Just keeps it a little bit more protected than it would on its own. For my chargers, I'm using one of the bags from that three set that I purchased at Target of those little bags. And I'm putting my chargers in there so they don't get lost in the bottom of my travel bag. Um, it's just as easy to just grab and go whenever you need a charger. For my headphones, I just have the Friends headphones and they came with their own case so I'm putting them in there like so. And then of course loading it all into the travel bag. I also bring an iPad, it's just a little bit more convenient than a big laptop and it does everything I need it to. Some other miscellaneous things I will have in there is some sort of magazine or two and also snacks. I can't go a plane ride without having snacks so I really like having trail mix. So now that it's pretty much filled to capacity, I will just obviously zip it and I am good to go. But that's it for my video today. I really hope you guys found it helpful. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you guys like to bring on flights or if you travel in a car, if you travel at all. Just let me know. I like when you guys comment and talk because I like to comment back. Um, and I could use more help too with my essentials. I'm sure of it. So anyways, if you guys want more travel themed videos, let me know by thumbsing up this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!